If you are interested to give mock interview, you will be finding registration link in the description. You have to fill out the Google form and interview will be scheduled. In each and every interview, whatever questions I ask, I suggest you to pause the video and try to answer by yourself so that it will be like a practice for you and you can learn multiple things. Hi, Alicia. Hi, ma'am. Okay. Uh, can we start? Yes. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, let us start with introducing yourself. My name is Lisha. I am pursuing my BS, uh, BS Agri Science in Agriculture University and uh, I am learning web development as a skill and I have skill, I am skilled in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Okay. So currently you are a student. You are working somewhere as intern or something? I am a student currently. Okay, okay. So you just want to practice by giving this interview? Yes. Okay, so I will divide into four parts, okay? HTML, yes. CSS, JavaScript, then we will be having coding based question. Okay. Okay, if you are comfortable with project, we will do fifth round, that is project round. Okay. Okay, so first let us start with HTML. Yes. Okay, can you tell me different types of list? List, yes, there are two types of list. You have unordered list and ordered list. Okay, we have another type that is description list. Okay, in okay. total three types. Can you just share okay. your screen? Yes. Create one folder and share your screen. Okay. Ma'am, I am not able to share my screen yet. Share option is not present here. Below, can you see one smiley send a reaction? After that, we have present now, arrow mark. Yes, present now is there. Ha, click on that. And I click on it. Next. Okay. Uh, you will be having option to share the window, share screen. Uh, then I should click the entire screen. Uh, entire screen, yes. Okay. Ma'am, share option is not blue in color, means it is white in color that shows I am not able to click on it. Uh, select the screen, first to select the screen. Okay. Entire screen you will be having our uh, meeting, so click on that. Okay. Now? Ha. Huh. Then VS code. Ah, uh, any code editor is fine. Okay, I am able to see the screen. Okay. Okay, can you just create uh, two types of list? What you mentioned? Okay, I created, I already placed the boilerplate in it, ah, then I, now I will create an, uh, two types of unordered list, uh, two types of list, okay. first one is UL and second one is LOL, ordered list, and then I created uh, in it um, listed items. Okay. So what is the difference between these two types of list? In ordered list, um, the uh, ally items show in one, two, three. And in unordered list, uh, the uh, ally shows in uh, door type. OK, correct. So now in CSS, if I want to remove that bullet points, what property we have to use? Sorry for disturbance. Please no continue. Problem. No problem. It happens. Okay, so now in unordered list, we have bullet points. Yes. Now using CSS, I want to remove. So what property we will be using? Text transform, text decoration property is used. Uh, sure. Yes. We use list style. Yes. List oh, style sorry. Type to be none. Yes, yes. Okay. yes, yes, yes. 
सो वॉट इज हेड एलिमेंट वट इज हेड हेड एलिमेंट कंप्यूटर बी एस कोड यस हाँ इन दिस वॉट इज हेड एलिमेंट मैम आई डोंट हियर अबाउट दिस हेड हेड इन साइड एच टी एम एल वी हैव हेड टैग एंड बॉडी टैग ओके मैम हेड टैग इज हाँ प्लीज आस्क सो वॉट इज लाइक वाई शुड बी यूज दिस हेड एलिमेंट Head element is used to give head stream. Uh, head element is used to show the head element, head part of the website. Okay. Means it includes um, some metadata types and its um, uh, title of the website and favicon. Okay. So basically, is, in website, the not visible part, okay, which will not be visible to us, that we wrap inside head element. Okay. Okay. Like title, it will be on tab. In main screen, it will not be. Meta tags, it will not be visible. Links, yes, it will yes. not be visible. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, what is body element? In body element, we do coding. Uh, that all part uh, shows in the website, uh, and uh, all all HTML, CSS, HTML uh, structure is written in that. Yes. So head will be not visible. Body will be visible part. Yes. Yes. So, what are different types of headings? Headings: H1 to H6, H1, H4, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. So, why should we use H1 heading? Uh, to give, uh, to make the text bigger, um, to show headings as compared to P tag that is very smaller. Okay, so basically for primary heading. Yes. So, what are semantic elements? Semantic elements are are those that give sense that what is placed in that. What are those tags that help us to know what is placed in the inside that tag? Like uh, nav tag, nav nav tag help us to know that nav bar elements are placed in it. Okay. Okay. Correct. Like which will be giving some meaning. Now. Then in. Which will be giving some meaning, so those are called as semantic tags. Yes, uh, yes. Okay. So in place of bold tag, what semantic tag is replaced? Uh, in place of bold, bold B. Bold strong tag. Ah, correct. In place of italic. Italic in place of italic. I have no idea. Okay, it is emphasized E M. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what if what is image element? Image element is used to write, used to place images in the website. Okay. So, can we give a height and width to image element? Yes. Okay. So, next question is: Can we give height and width to inline elements? Height? No, no. Okay. So, display property of image. Is uh, in line. Oh, so then how is it possible to give height and width to image? We can change the display property of image. Means we can make it block in line block. Then we can we are able to set its height and width. Okay. Uh, just create image tag. Yes. Okay. okay. Add any uh, source. If you're having any image, or you can directly get from Google, any address. Okay, I will. I will take it from Google. Okay. Okay. Now no image is showing. I am taking from my laptop. Okay. Ma'am, is it necessary to show it live? Uh, you are not comfortable. No, ma'am. Ma I am asking for image. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. 
that's me i showed it please okay okay now just keep some height and width okay um means i show in 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 line uh, or uh, out in create, uh, in internal style okay Am I set it high? Ah. It's height and width. Okay, so without changing display property, we are able to set height and width for inline element. So do okay. you know the reason? I don't know. I studied that uh, image is an inline element. Ha! Ah. So this is the confusing question, which is mostly it is asked in interviews. Okay. okay. Why? Because we have something called replace inline and non-replaceable inline. Okay, replace okay. lines are those which we get from outside, like images, videos. So for that kind, okay. we can set height and width without changing the display property. Okay. Okay. So okay. what is anchor element? Anchor tag. Anchor tag is used to place links in it. Means I will make a button. Then I then we can place its link in anchor tag so that we can uh, determine its uh, destination. Okay, so what makes anchor tag as an anchor tag? What is the main thing in that? Uh, we placed a link in it that makes it an anchor tag. Okay, just create one anchor tag. Okay. Am I play? Created it. No, no need to give any link. Okay. Now, what makes this click here as a link? Click here as a link. Huh. Ma'am, uh, we placed it. Uh, and we placed it inside anchor tag. That's why it um, becomes an end. Okay. Just remove href property. Href attribute. Ma'am, no. Um, by removing it, we cannot determine the destiny of that uh, element. Yes. So href attribute makes anchor tag as a link. Yes. Okay. Without href, it will be like normal text. You can check. Check the result. Yes. Ma'am, I have to show that. Yes, yes. Okay. You can open side by side Visual Studio Code and uh, edit it. You can see. Ma'am, it be becomes normal a normal text. text. Ha! Huh. It will be normal text. Yes. Okay. Now. Just imagine I am having four anchor tags. Yes. Okay, just create four anchor tags. Let's see. Yes. First okay. anchor tag give home. In H. Ma'am, HRF, huh? HRF is included or not? It should be there. Okay. Just give hash. Don't give any link. Okay. Or just leave it empty, no problem. Just write home, oh. contact. Yes. Register. Okay. And help. Help? Ha, help. Okay. Uh, just see the result. Ma'am, that now, is the result. Okay, they are on side by side. Now what I want, yes. I just want to wrap this anchor tag into nav, nav element. Yes. And check the result. What will happen to this anchor tax? Okay. Ma'am, I did it. Okay. Now see what will be the result. Okay. This is the result. Okay. So by looking at this, you can see it has come down, but no yes. anchor tag. Then why should we wrap inside nav element? We should nav it in. We should wrap it inside nav tag to give the sense that it is a part of nav bar. Huh, to give proper for SEO, okay? And yes, also, SEO. it is very helpful for screen reader. Yes. Okay. So we'll start with CSS now. Okay. Okay. What is CSS? CSS is uh, CSS is cascading style sheet and it is used for styling HTML 
HTML of the website that HTML we created to create the web page structure and then CSS is used to style that website. Okay. So without CSS, can we create any website? Yes, we create it, but it will not look very beautiful. It means it look very simple. Yes, correct. So do you know what is CSS rule? What is CSS? Rule. Role. CSS is very important. CSS plays a very important role in uh, making role. websites <laughs> because it not role rule R U L E rule. Am I don't hear? Sorry. CSS rule R U L E. I mean, you are asking for CSS rules? No, no. What is CSS rule? Ma'am, I don't understand. I have no idea. Okay, no problem. Open your VS Code editor. Okay. Now come to that style tag which you have mentioned above. Okay. This okay, is. Say, so here you have selected image. Yes. You have curly braces. So yes. So opening curly brace to closing curly brace is called as declaration block. Okay. Okay. And that image, what you have selected, it is called a selector. Okay. And selector plus declaration block is called a CSS rule. Okay. Okay. Got it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me three ways of writing CSS? Yes. There are three ways of writing CSS inline, uh, inline, external, and internal. Okay. Which is having higher priority? Uh, in line. Okay. And what about external and internal? Uh, in external and internal, internal have higher priority. No, ma'am. External, external have higher priority. Okay. So both will be having same priority based on the order where we have placed. Place. Place. Yes. Okay. If yes. external is below, external will be applied. If internal is below, internal will be applied. Yes. Okay. Just create three par paragraphs in HTML. Okay. Remove or uh, comment this entire thing. Previously, whatever okay. we have done. Ma'am, it is necessary to add text in it. For what? Sorry, Alicia. Is it necessary to add text in it? Oh, yes, yes. Add something. Okay. Simple text, no need of long text. Okay. I add the text in it. Okay. Now for first paragraph, give ID. ID? ID attribute. ID. Give any name. ID is equal okay. to demo. I gave it ID. Okay, okay, no problem. For second paragraph, give class. Okay. Para one. Okay. Another okay. another class. One more class. Okay. No, no, same. In that only, in that paragraph only, another class. Class name. Class name. No, in then paragraph, in third class. Third paragraph, remove that class. Okay. In second paragraph only, what class you have given, there you give another class. Para space another class okay now select id and give some background color okay now select class and give background color give another color that will not be visible text will not okay. be visible any color you can give. Okay. And select can another I give paragraph. The... Okay. Select another paragraph. Third paragraph. Yes, yes. Select any. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, give a uh, background color. 
Okay, I gave it. Okay. Now here, all whatever you have selected, all as styling. Uh, okay, see the result. First, see the result. I gave that to, I gave a specific ID class to any paragraph then I gave it to styling uh, it selects um, if we give any class to HTML then then SCSS will take it according to that okay so which is having higher priority here here um, every class or uh, ID have higher priority here means uh, that class, this class is present here. Will, will you, it will use it. Okay, ID is having first priority. Yes. Okay, for one element, if we have ID class, and if we select element, yes. ID will be taken the priority. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, come come to your VS Code editor. Yes. Now, whatever classes you have added, just add that to first paragraph. Come down. Ma'am, please again down, say come again. Down. Come down to HTML. Yes. Come down. So remove that two paragraphs and copy that class first. From Means you say first two paragraphs. Wait. From second paragraph, copy this class. Only class. Only yes. class. Okay. And copy this two paragraphs. Okay. Remove both the paragraphs remove completely. Okay. Now add that class to first paragraph. Okay. Add, yeah, yeah, did it. Add as a class. Give class attribute and add those classes. Okay. I added it now for para two class also give some background color. Okay. I gave it some, color. Give some another color so that we can differentiate. Give a new. Okay. Which we can differentiate. And for uh, okay. paragraph element also, change crimson to some other color. Okay. Okay, now without seeing the result, tell me what will be the color of paragraph? Uh, I think if color of the paragraph will be uh, that is given in ID. Okay. Okay, you are right. Now remove that ID. Okay. Now what will be the color? I think now it will be para2 means green color. Okay, correct. Now remove that para2. Okay. Now color? I think dot para1. Correct. Okay. Uh, do you know about inheritance yet? Inherited properties? No ma'am. I have no idea. Okay, I'll learn about that, okay, because that is important. Okay. Uh, how do we do list selecting, list selectors? List selectors, ally, we use it as ally, okay, or we can give it a element. class, or... That is list element we are selecting. What in CSS, in CSS perspective, what is list selector? Uh, what is this selector? I don't know, ma'am. Okay. So imagine if you have two headings, H1 and H2, and you want to give same yes. background color. So okay. how we select H1, comma H2? We we separate by comma. Am I have to create it? No, no, no. I'm just telling, explaining. We separate by okay. comma, so that is called as list selector. Okay. Okay. So, do you know what are different types of selectors in CSS? CSS, uh, there are three types of selectors, ID, class, and element selectors. Okay. Uh, we are having many more. Okay. Universal selector. 
yes yes asterix ha that is from the story what is descendant selector Uh, descendant selectors are uh, means in, in in which are we use uh, we place the parent element first then we will place uh, a child huh. and we use it for study okay sibling selector do you know yes okay. siblings um, that are under one parent okay so what uh, operator we use while selecting in css ma'am please ask it again Okay, for selecting sibling selector, what operator we use in CSS? Mm, I have no idea. Okay, no problem. Plus operator. Plus, Plus. operator. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just create list again. Just create one simple list. Okay. U L U L or O L something. Yes, I uh, give some text. Some okay. Simple one word, one word text. Yes, ma'am. What I want for last li, I want to give background color only for last li. Okay. You should not be giving any class, no ID. Okay. Hmm. Yes, sir. Am I creating it? Is it right? Okay. So that check the result. No, I I don't hear. What are you saying? Can you hear me? Hello. Ma'am, I yes, ma'am. Okay. So we got the result. But there comes yes. some two years code. We will get the yes, result code. if you write like that. But remove that end last child. You can only give last okay. child. Remove last end. child. Yes, remove end from bracket. Remove one. The uh, last child. Ha, uh, remove loyal also. Okay. Now you check the result. Okay. Yeah. Ma'am, same result. Ha. Huh. So you can give like this. Okay, you don't have to add extra things. Okay. So now we'll start with JavaScript. Okay. What is JavaScript? JavaScript is a is a very good is a high standard language that is used to make a website interactive. Okay, that's it. Yes. Okay. JavaScript is high level or low level programming language? Why? JavaScript is high level or low level? High level language. Okay. So what is high level language? High level means it is it has great features means dynamic it is dynamic. Okay. Uh, you can just uh, go through that. Okay. We don't have to manage any memory resources. JavaScript will do for that. So that is the reason it is high level. Okay. So JavaScript is single threaded or multi threaded? Mm, I think multi threaded. Uh, okay. It is single threaded. Okay. So, do you know what is single thread? I don't know, ma'am. I have no idea. Okay, so in JavaScript, one by one, a task will be performed. One by one. One by one, code will be executed. Okay. Yes. Once, once our code is finished, we will go to next line. Yes. So suppose if we are having on on fifth line, I am having the task which is taking long time. And on fourth line, okay, my task is getting finished very early. 
Yes. Okay, then how JavaScript will handle that? JavaScript will handle the first um, means async part uh, very quickly, then async part uh, later. Okay, async JavaScript. Okay, correct. So long running tasks will be running in the background because of asynchronous yes. JavaScript. Yes. Okay. So can we start with coding part? Yes. Okay, uh, share your screen and open editor and code editor side by side. Open your editor and uh, room. Ma'am, you have you say output? You means output? Uh, on chat, I will be pasting question. You have to paste okay. on the JS file. And without yes. seeing the result, you should tell me the output. Okay. Okay, just link your JavaScript file here. Ma'am. You show me just you just show me I will see your questions and answer it because it is not possible for me to make it side by side. Okay, no problem. Then you can open uh, like that only. What previously what you were doing? Okay. I will paste the first question. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to make it. Uh, you can take your time. No problem. If it okay. is not happening, let me. No, I did not saw your question. No, I have not pasted it. Okay. Okay, I pasted now. Okay. Then what are you asking in that question? Like you have to copy this, paste in your okay. JavaScript file. Yes. Okay, and you have to execute and you should tell me the result. You should tell the output okay. without seeing the result. Okay. Means I don't have to see the output, uh, just uh, yes, paste yes. it and... Yes. Okay. Later on you can check. Once you tell the output, you can check the result. Then I will tell you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think its output will be true. Okay. Now can check. okay. It is true. Okay. How it is true? Because I think uh, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 are uh, sum up and make 0 0.9 and it is equal to 0 0.9, then it is true. Now, same question, just wrap 0 0.1 in single quotes. 0 0.1 single quote, okay. Like that? Single quotes. Single quote, double quote. Okay. Quotes, okay. Quotes. Huh. okay. Only 0 0.1. Remove Only 0 0.1. Okay. Huh. Now what will be the result? Now it is, I think, false. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can check. Okay. Now it is false. Now, do you know the reason why? Because uh, zero, when we place a single quote in between zero point one, then it shows. Then it shows. It means it becomes a string, and string is not added by number. Okay. Now same question. Change it to minus instead of plus. Change it to minus. Okay. Now, now I change it. Now what will be the output? Yes, and equal to equal to 0 0.7. Make it to 0 0.7. Okay. okay. Now? Now it is again false. Okay. You can check. Okay. Now it is false. Hmm. Okay. But uh, what happened here? It is again um, 0 0.1 is string and 0 0.8 is number uh, and it is not possible to um, subtract the string with the number. Okay, yeah. the answer what you got is right but the logic is wrong. So when we have plus it will concatenate but when we have minus operation will be performed. 
Okay, okay. it will be subtracted and there we get minus 0 0.7 and there we get plus 0 0.7. So that is the reason it is false. Okay. Okay, when we have plus, string and number will be concatenated. When we have minus, then it will convert to number. Okay. Okay. Now I will paste the second question. Okay. Okay, I have pasted. Yes, I see it. Copy and type. If Yes. Yes, I commented it now. Okay. Now print the result. Okay. Please give me some time. Okay. okay. Take, take your time. Good. I think it is true. Okay. Sure. Once again, you yes. Can, you can think. Okay. Not equal to data. Now I have no idea about this question. I am not understanding. Okay. You can check the reason. Okay. I'm ready to go abroad. Here, I will tell the concept. Okay, you can go through that concept. It is concept okay. regarding hoisting. And in this okay. question, we have problem because you can see not of data. It will be false. Yes. Okay, still our function got executed and we got the result because of hoisting. Mm. Yes. Okay, yes. you can go through that concept. Yes. I will paste the third question. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll comment this one and you can paste. Ma'am, it's output will be false for both. Okay. You can check the result and you should tell the result. Okay. Ma'am, it is true, false for both. Okay. And it is due to because X and Y they have both have same, both have different memory locations. That's why okay. it is false. That is correct. Yes, ma'am. Are they sorry? I got disconnected. Okay. Okay. I will paste the fourth question. Okay. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Ma'am, first one, he, first, first one output is uh, number, okay. and second one is, second one is false, I think. Correct. Reason? Reason because um, not a not a number is gives the JavaScript gave not a number is a gives a special type of number, okay. and in second part. Uh, both are um, both to have both data types are equal and both have same number that's why they are they have same okay they are Second, true uh, answer is correct logic is wrong again 
both are special type of numbers so that number can be anything okay okay so that is the reason it is false okay okay i will paste next question okay, okay. if you are not comfortable or if you are feeling tired you can tell me we can stop okay okay i will paste the next question okay now in this i just want to access school but you should not be using dot operator okay sorry i saw the output i am i do it in this way okay you are you are half way correct ma'am what are you saying you are half way 50 correct 50% you are correct okay only one mm -hmm. just think mm -hmm. Sir, I have no idea. Please let. Okay, so in bracket notation we can give any expression. So just wrap yes. the full in single quote to double quotes. It will work. Ma'am, this school? Ha, wrap in single quotes. Ha, now you see. Okay, output. Yes, yes. Okay. Ma'am, this printed. Yeah. Before you got error, right? Yes. School is not defined. Ha. Huh. Now you will get the result. Okay. Okay. So in bracket notation, you should pass as an expression. Yes. Okay. I will paste another question. Okay. Okay, I paste it. Okay. Now, what will be the result? Mm. Mama, I have no idea. Just check. Okay. Mama, it shows all the array, but uh, in that place it shows empty item. Okay. So one item we have deleted. Yes. Okay, but still here it shows. So what will be the length of array for this one? Uh, it it will be three. Okay. Can you just check? Okay. Number it is four. Huh. So when we delete item, it will still count. It will still count. Okay. Okay. If you want to completely remove, then we should use array methods like we have pop. Yes, pop, push, pop, and then shift. Yes. I will paste another question. Okay. Huh. I paste it. Okay. Before okay, that first console, just close that in single quotes. I think I forgot to close. It. What are you saying? For first console, just close with single quote. Uh, wait, let me re re paste the question. 
Ma'am, I think nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, check the result. Okay. It is eleven, ten, and twenty. <laughs> All three are wrong. Okay, it's fine. Okay, for this you should learn how increment, post increment, pre increment will be working. Yes. Okay, how the value will be assigned. Okay. okay. Last question. This will be like a project, but still it will be coding, coding based question. Okay. Now I have given this question. Yes. Now my output has to be in this way. Can you see the question? Yes. Okay. This is my text. JavaScript is fun to learn, and output yes. every word's last letter should be in capital. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just try. Mm-hmm. 
Emma, you have no idea about this question. Okay. Can you just try? Or you are not aware? I am, I know, I know it will be solved by using array methods or some yes, yes. something else, but yes, I am not able to do it right now. Okay, no problem. You can just practice, okay? It will take some time. Just practice half an hour. If you want, okay. over mail, I will provide the solution. Okay. Okay. Please provide it, I will. Okay, I will then provide the solution. Just go through that and understand each and every method used in this concept. Okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. We can. Okay. So, mostly if you are applying for fresher, they will be asking fundamentals only. They will not be asking advanced, but in fundamental, yes. at least you should be having knowledge yes. of array higher order methods. Okay. okay. Map method, reduce method, filter method. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. So, how was your experience? You can stop sharing. I think it is a very good experience for me. It is a, it is my first interview, okay. and I am a little bit confused, but I, I am happy I did it. That's fine. Coding based, though, I think you all answered almost everything correct. Oh, thank you, ma'am. And the theory still you have to practice. Theory also you yes. have to learn. And projects definitely, yes. whenever you are giving interview, they will be asking one project. It's this kind okay. of question, so they will be telling you to create project. So okay. project, simple projects, start doing simple projects, then you can move on to bigger projects. Okay. Okay, if you want to get job as intern or fresher, simple projects. Okay, don't go for, don't directly jump for oops. Don't okay, start okay. with e-commerce project. Start doing simple project. Okay. Get job yes. and then you can start advanced projects. And okay. please let me know what huh. things I need to improve means theory or something else. Theory too, definitely it is must. Once we understand theory, doing practical will be very easy. Okay. Okay. But apart from theory, practical is also very important. So simultaneously you can learn. Now if okay. you're learning, I will tell you one concept. If you're learning scoping concept in JavaScript. Yes. Then related to scoping, you should learn almost all the cases. What will happen if I access the variable in this way? What will happen yes. in this way if I access in functions? So you should know all the cases. Yes. If you learn one topic, just practice that concept three, four times so that you will not forget. Okay. If you learn and if you need, you will forget. Okay. We all are humans. Even I forget. Okay. Keep on practicing. Okay, ma'am. Start with simple projects. Start with counter. Start with calculator. Start with to-do list tab. Model. Okay. How to close model. How to open model. Yes. Okay. And definitely you have to learn asynchronous JavaScript. It is very important for beginners also. Yes. And... Yes. Uh, overall, how many marks you will be giving you out of 10? I think 50, 50. Out of 10. <laughs> Means 5. Okay. Uh, I would be giving 5, 5.5. 5. Same. So, still okay. practice. Okay. If I was interviewing, definitely, like, I was not taking you. But if you practice, I would definitely take you as intern. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, still you have to practice, give your one or two months. Still you are student, you are having more time. Okay. Okay, just uh, utilize the time and learn. Yes, ma'am, I, I will try my best because I am free now. Yes, yes, now you have time. Later, once you go from your college, you will not be having time. Internships, yes, yes. interviews. So now you have yes. lots of time, you can accordingly make the time table and start preparing. Yes, you are right. Okay. okay. Uh, do you have any questions for me? No, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Allah, please. Allah, please. Yeah.